again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. All right, so this week is a very special week. It is St. Patrick's Day week, which is also my birthday week. <laughs> I'm actually filming this on my birthday, which is March 14th. I have a lucky truck painting for us today for the special holiday. I have my four standard brushes that I'm going to be using for this class that I use in most of my classes. This is a kit that comes in four sizes. You don't have to have the exact same sizes as me, but I do recommend that you have something along the same lines that's meant for a water media. Uh, this kit comes with a three quarters inch wash brush and then three pointed brushes. And these are a size 10, a size three, and a size three over zero. So I have like a medium one and then small and even smaller. I'm gonna get those in my water cup off the side of the screen. If you'd like to see a full materials list of everything that you need to paint along, check the description box below. It'll show you the colors for today, but it will also take you to my website where I have a materials page that will break it down for you. The colors that we have to start with for just the background step, we have a phthalo green, a little bit of cadmium yellow, a little bit of cobalt blue, and some black and white. I think we are ready to go ahead and jump on in. All right, so we're gonna start real simple with our background step today. And I'm going to use my medium sized brush to do something that I like to do in a lot of my paintings, which is to create a horizon line. So this is for our background. And in my imagination, our truck is parked on the grass <laughs> uh, and there's a blue sky behind it. So I wanna do sort of like a hilly, grassy, slight curve since it's not pavement. We're going off road in here for a little bit. So I have a little bit of like a natural curved horizon line, maybe about a third of the way up. And I'm going to paint that in that light blue with my cobalt and white together with my medium brush, but then I'm going to grab my big brush and we're going to fill the whole top part of the canvas in with back and forth textured brush strokes with that blue and white and we can even add a little bit of gray too since it is March still so perhaps it's a little bit gray where you are let me know in the comment section if it's blue skies or a gray day for you. I'm going to blend those colors together so I just added a tiny little pinch of black there and we want to really get our brushes going every which way, all directions. And we want to sort of blend areas that are perhaps a little bit more saturated blue, perhaps a little bit of gray added. And then maybe there's some areas too where it's a little bit lighter in color, so a little bit more white. And you can make your nice little sky however you see fit. You don't even have to use gray. That makes you feel sad. <laughs> I like a gray day, personally. All right, a little bit, maybe more saturation. In some areas, really didn't use a lot of that black. When I switch out my palette paper at break, I do like to transfer over the paints if I can to be a little bit less wasteful. So that's just a tip. All right. And we're bringing our blue and grayish sky background all the way down to cover that sketch line. You'll, you'll still see it a little bit, that's okay. We're gonna grab now our medium brush again. We are going to cover that sketch line and fill in this bottom third or so of our canvas with a nice grassy green. So this phthalo green has a little bit of blue tone in it. 
So to counteract that and get a nice true grassy green, we're going to add some of this yellow. And I've just mixed those two colors together and I'm going to come up into my sky a little bit so that I get a nice clean transition line. And again, it's grass, right? So a little bit of a curve is good. And then we're going to do back and forth brush strokes for this bottom third, so a little bit different. You can grab a little bit of white too if you'd like, a little bit of differentiation in the colors of green here at the bottom. Light or dark, that's up to you. In my imagination, perhaps this is like a very grassy area, fresh grass, maybe somewhere quite moist like Ireland. The kind of grass that we don't get around here in the American Southwest. <laughs> All right. Back and forth brush strokes, just a nice, grassy green. All of my canvases lately have been crunched a little bit in the corner. I got a whole shipment in. They were all crunched, so don't mind that. Don't look too closely. Okay, now that we have a nice green grassy hill and we have our sky all filled in with our blues and grays, we are gonna let this layer dry. I'm going to grab my big brush though real quick because I see up here in the corner it wasn't fully saturated. So I want to make sure that there's no white canvas left over once we have our backgrounds filled in. And now I'm going to step away and let this dry for a few minutes and then we'll come back and add our truck full of luck. <laughs> All right, I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a completely dry background and fresh colors on our piece of palette paper. So I have a whole rainbow here, since we are going to be adding a rainbow later. I have some more of my phthalo green, some cadmium yellow, a little bit more of my cobalt blue, some cadmium orange and cadmium red, and also a touch of violet, as well as some more black and white. I rinsed my brushes and got some fresh water at break as well. Let's go ahead and jump right back on into things, and we are going to do a rather challenging part. So rally your strength, everyone, deep breath. We're going to sketch out our truck. I'm going to use my second to smallest brush for this, and I'm going to sketch it out, even though it's going to be in black, I'm going to sketch it out with white. This will be a little bit easier to cover <coughs> or adjust if need be. <coughs> And I'm going to start with the tires of my truck. And initially I sort of centered my first try and I like it better if it's a little bit forward actually so that our rainbow is centered. So I'm sort of visualizing already where I'm going to put things and I'm gonna come up from the bottom a little bit and I need to leave room for the front of my truck. So I think I'm gonna do my first higher right about there and I'm going to I'm going to adjust it over a little bit front over a little bit more towards the center I'm going to do another matching circle a couple inches towards the other side here so you can see how my tires are a little bit more forward than they are back so I have room for the back of my truck here and I still have room for the front of my truck as well. And we want these to be at about the same level. You can even use your brush to just sort of eyeball. If you wanted, you could even use a ruler. But I'm going to connect these two tires there with like the main body of the truck. And I'm going to come from the front here to do the front part of the truck. So I left a little bit of space in between the wheel and I'm going to do this sort of front bumper part uh, like so. So I have three lines there, one coming out, one coming straight up, and then one diagonal. And then I'm going to have the front of my truck. And we can adjust this a little bit, but that's going to curve there for the hood. 
and then straighten on top. And then rather than doing the middle part, I'm gonna come and do the back instead. And I'm gonna go a little bit further out in the front. Just a little bit. It's mostly still centered. And then I'm gonna come up a little bit for the truck bed. I'm a little bit lower here than the front of my truck. So the truck bed is lower than the front part where the engine is. There's the hood. And I'm going to bring this back all the way over this wheel and a little bit further. Make sure that I go far enough with my truck shape. Okay, and then it's a little bit easier to create the little center part of our truck. I'm doing a slight curve up top here and then I will come down and if you need to you can adjust things a little bit I'm gonna bring that a little bit further forward and I think I'll make this a tiny bit bigger so we got a lot of goodies to fit in the back of the truck <laughs> All right, so our main truck shape is completed. All right, and I'm also going to do a quick little window. I'm going to do the window at about the same level as the hood. And it's also going to have a curved top. Okay, then we have our main truck shape. Since we're filling in with black, let's do a little bit more sketching in first before we start filling in. So I'm going to come into the back here and I'm also going to do my little pot of gold. And I'm going to curve that so it's going to be sort of wedged right there in that little triangle. And I'm going to do a quick little circle at the top so we have our pot of gold shape. Okay, and then I'm also going to do a leprechaun's hat. So I'm going to do a straight line and a little top hat. Okay, and then we're going to have a few little cute clovers then. And the clover shape is like two hearts across from each other and then two more hearts across from each other. Okay, we might have a few kind of tucked in next to each other. We're just using the smallest amount of paint. Okay, so we have some goodies and I might add a few more little clover peekaboos in between there and that'll make more sense once we fill everything in with the colors. So I'm actually going to start in the back of the truck with the colors. And I'm going to grab some black. I have my same tiny brush. And I'm going to go on the outside of my pot of gold, leaving a little bit in the center, not filling the whole thing in. So I'm going to fill that center in white here in just a minute. Okay, we're doing base colors. So we have our sketch down. Now it's all about base colors. We want to do yellow in here, but yellow doesn't have very much pigment. So let's go ahead and just do a little bit of white first. Now we will block off that area. I'm going to do a nice green color for my leprechaun hat and I want to have a little bit of black in there as well so that we get a different color entirely something different than our grass green and I'm going to make my little leprechaun hat this dark green color as a base 
gonna have a little gold stripe later. Just the base colors. And now, a little bit of a lighter green. I'm going to add some yellow and some white into that dark green for a clover color. And I'm going to grab that light green and just take it a little bit under the hat too, as if it's sitting on clovers. And I'm going to come into my little white sketch and fill that in with my light green instead. I'm sort of allowing the white to blend with the green a little bit. That's okay. Okay, and it's okay if you see just a tiny little peekaboo of the sketch still too, because we are gonna add a darker color there later. Okay, very cute. All right, and once our clovers and our hat and our pot of gold filled in with our base colors, we are going to fill in our truck too. And the truck, I'm going to do black, but I'm going to bring in just a little bit of white in so that I get a slightly different color than the pot of gold. So you can see there the difference. It's not a huge difference, but you can see a difference between the true black of the pot of gold versus the dark gray of our truck. You can make your truck any color you want. You can fill it in with your second to smallest brush or your medium brush too if you would prefer. Okay, and I'm going to bring that pretty much right to the wheel and over. We're just covering our initial sketch lines with whatever color that we want our truck to be. I think a black truck is very classic. Personally, I drive a white truck. Okay, make sure our wheels are even. We're going to fill those in in just a moment as well. But right now, just sticking with the base color and I'm going to fill in my window with a slightly different color as well. So I'm going to grab my medium sized brush just to speed up the process a little bit. It's going to be a very satisfying step to get our truck all filled in. I am keeping the brush strokes going in the direction of my shape, keeping things nice and neat and tidy. The brush stroke direction does matter. Every little brush stroke matters. The painting is a sum of its parts. So it's all cumulative at the end with your patience in every brushstroke. Okay. Very cute and whimsical. the truck bed out ever so slightly more. Okay. Looking pretty cute. Just going around one last time and straightening everything out. But we're looking pretty good there. Okay, I'm 
gonna grab my slightly smaller brush again, just to go along this outside edge. And refine things slightly. Okay. And then I'm going to take a lighter gray for the inside window there. And I'm going to use my medium sized brush for this, or excuse me, my smaller, same one. Since it is a little bit of a smaller area. All right. So I'm going to fill in my tires still as well with a similar gray color. Keeping my brush strokes nice and neat and tidy everywhere. in medium gray for our circular shapes here for our tires. Pretty cute little basic shape we got going on. All right, looking good. So before we add some more details to our truck, let's let that layer dry for just a minute. And I'm going to grab some dark green in the meantime. A little bit of like a forest green. With green and black and yellow and maybe even white too if you get too dark. And I'm going to right underneath the tires Add a little bit of shadow on either side. I want like long, graceful brush strokes here, more so than short ones. And it's okay if there's a little bit of sort of scruffy canvas texture that you can see visibly. Just sort of the idea of a shadow coming from the tires and around gives it a little bit more sense of place there on the grass and we can also take this dark green and i'm going to do that little shadow right along the edge of the hill so that we have a nice clean line of separation there as well. And I think you should add a little bit of highlights too. So I'm going to grab a yellow green and I feel like using my medium sized brush for this. And I'm going to make this nice grassy highlight color. Throw a couple brush strokes of that here in my grass just to sort of mix things up a little bit. Maybe a little bit more saturated of a green. And maybe a little bit lighter too. All right, so just adding a little bit of streakiness and even blending a little bit of my shadow too so that I have more interesting than just solid green. A little bit of streakiness, stripiness. If you go too bold with any of those colors, you can always grab some of your background color and tone things down a little bit. All right, and we look pretty dry up in our little goodies area. I'm gonna grab my second to smallest detail brush again, and I'm going to take some white actually. I'm going to block out where I'm going to have the 
rainbow. I'm going to go right from the center of my gold chest there, pot of gold. I'm going to do a few brush strokes coming from the center off the side of the page. In this painting, we found the end of the rainbow. It's right in the back of this truck. <laughs> going to fill that in with white as well. In just a minute, I will add the rainbow colors. But this way we'll get a nice vibrant rainbow rather than adding those colors on top of the blue. Doesn't have to be perfect, just getting that blocked out. Cute. Okay. And I will also take a little bit of white and add a quick little stripe on our leprechaun hat, which we will then block out with yellow in just a minute. Okay, in the meantime, let's finish off our cute little clovers. I'm actually going to grab my smallest brush. Don't often use this brush. I'm going to take a dark green. I'm going to outline my cute little clovers with my tiny little handy brush. It's perfect for steps like this. Okay, and that will just have a nice little touch of refinement to the edges here. Clean things up a little bit. Okay, cute, cute. Like it. <laughs> Four leaf clovers. Let's take that same brush and I'm going to make a yellow orange for my gold color more along the lines of yellow. And I'm going to add little tiny brush strokes with my baby brush of the rainbow leading to our pot of gold. And we wanna have a nice overflowing pot of gold there. So lots of little brush strokes filling in that whole space. A little tiny bit of texture. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my black again and just tidy things up a tiny bit. And then also add a few tiny little brush strokes along the top and maybe just a few inside too. This is like the tiniest step ever. To add some shadows there to what would be our gold coins. Cute, okay, let me grab some white. I'm gonna switch to my second to smallest brush again. And I'm gonna do a quick little highlight right along the edge of my pot of gold. And then he's looking pretty good. Okay, let's grab that same white and we'll do some highlights here in our truck too. So I'm going to highlight right along where the door would be. And right along the front of that, top line right here. And as we go with white, if you go too heavy handed, you can just grab some black and correct it a little bit if you need to. Okay, so that line was pretty thick. I'm going to go over leaving a little bit of space there because we're actually highlighting the, I'm not sure what that word is, wheel casing. I'm <laughs> not a car person. <laughs> I struggle with things like hood. All right, and I'm gonna do a little highlight in the hood. And some highlights along the front gonna add also a 
circular shape here for the headlight. Cute. Okay. And I think I'll do a little highlight right there. Kind of just accentuating the lines of the truck. Very cute. Okay, and if you'd like, you can write a cute little message along your truck too. I'm going to do a little bit of a line and then I'm going to write the word lucky. Which is maybe the name of the truck. L-U-C-K-Y. Lucky. Lucky truck. Cute. And then if you need to, you can clean anything up a little bit. I'm using that same brush. With the black. If you need to. Making everything nice and tidy. It's okay if it blended a little bit to gray. That's good too. Okay. Lucky black truck. Same black. I'm going to do a quick center in our wheels. Leaving that outside edge for the tire. And I'm going to also outline the outside edge too. I always have a little bit of water in my paint. Otherwise, you'll get a little bit sticky with things. And maybe even a little bit of black right there where it's touching the ground. And we should add a little bit of white in our tires too, along the outside edge for a little highlight. Our lucky truck is looking pretty cute. I'm going to do a quick highlight in the window too. A curved shape slightly. All right, our final step will be to do our rainbow, of course. I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit more black in the ground area. Just for a little bit more interest. I have water in my brush there. Just refining things a little bit. Pretty cute. Okay. And I think I'm going to adjust the shape a tiny bit right here. Ooh. Make sure I don't bring a drip onto my painting. Okay. I like the boxiness. Just with a little bit of a curve. Okay, that looks better. Okay, and now for the piece de la resistance, which is going to be the rainbow. And we're gonna do our basic Roy G. Biv rainbow red, orange, yellow, blue, green, violet. So we're just gonna go through all of our colors. We don't wanna go too thick. any one color and it's going to get thinner just a little bit once you get all the way to your pot of gold so we have a little bit of a flare red and 
You might need to adjust yours a little bit or maybe like cover the red with the orange a little bit. Something like that as you adjust as you go, that's okay. Right next to our red, we'll put yellow, excuse me, orange and then yellow. Keeping it skinny and brush strokes. Very light pressure. Okay, again, just flaring out a little bit more as we come off the page. Feel free to get up close and personal with your painting. I'm resisting the urge to paint two inches from it and trying to keep it at an arm's distance. And I know I'm sort of blocking things sometimes. I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta keep my hand a certain way or I'm not gonna get a straight line. But you guys can get real close if you want. <laughs> Okay, yellow right next door to our orange. Cute, really adds to it, I think. And when we have, while we have yellow on our brush, we might as well do a quick little yellow pass there inside for our cute green hat. And then green is going to be the next color and I'm going to go with a grassy green. So I'm again going to blend a little bit of yellow into that. What a nice bright green. Trying my best to keep that smooth curve, but you know, it's hand painting, so it's okay if it's not perfect. No such thing as perfection. And I'm at green, so I have blue and purple left. Okay, super cute. If you are painting along with me, I would love to see your work. And I've created a Facebook group called The Art Club that's specifically designed for my students to share their work with me and with each other. That is free to join. And there's a link below in the comments and in the description box. That will take you over there, it's on Facebook. And I love seeing your guys' renditions of these paintings and I love seeing all the places that these classes end up going. It's the best part of my day, truly. I have the nicest students. Your guys' comments are so nice. And when I can see your paintings, it's the best. All right, and then a little bit of purple. I'm going to add a tiny bit of white to my purple so that it's not so dark. Violet. And the idea is by the time you get to purple, we want to have no more white visible. So again, you might need to adjust a little bit. Any other colors? To try to get those even. But the rainbow really adds that nice whimsical leprechaun touch. Okay, pretty cute. <laughs> going to, just as a final little step to, I'm gonna grab some black and outline my leprechaun hat. 
meaning this is an outline. And then everything should be complete for the most part. If you need to add any other little final details on your painting, please do so. But that is all the instruction that I have for us for this week's painting. So let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below. Can't wait to hear from you. Don't forget to join me over in the art club so that I can see your paintings. And that's all I have for us. So until next time, happy St. Patrick's Day, happy painting, and stay creative. <laughs>